everybody, and sorry about that long wait again. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. So please bear with me. Okay, over here in this pot, I have bacon frying, and in the frying pan over here, I have shrimp frying. The shrimp are gonna become a nice golden brown, because that's what I need to go over the salad with the onions and everything else. In this pot here, I'm gonna put bacon. It's bacon, there's gonna be some onions, some garlic, um, and all the seasonings. And we are using a long grain rice. A lot of people like it because it's more healthier. I'm trying to do more vegetable stuff because it's kind of important. Plus, I had all this in the house. One of the beautiful things called house food. Don't feel like going to the store. Do it up this way. It's one of the best ideas ever. So while my bacon is frying up really nice, extremely important. Um, if you have comments or questions, please ask below. I really and truly enjoy it. When you're frying vegetables or you're cooking any kind of seafood, you want to make sure that it's nice and golden brown. You can use cornmeal. You could use flour. I like preferring mixing mine with cornmeal and flour. Italian seasonings, lemon salt and pepper, garlic powder. This is all in lemon pepper. If you buy it at the store, it's usually 99 cents. Yes, this is not my kitchen, this is my friend's house. And we are cooking today, we are having a girl's cooking day. So who we poison, we have no idea yet. Hey now. So, what it is, is with the lemon pepper, there's a lot of salt in it. So you don't want to add a lot of salt to anything. Bacon will add a lot of salt if you lose. I'm using low sodium thick bacon. Honestly, I prefer thick sliced bacon, basically like a slab back bacon, um, which is pork belly for a lot of people. I prefer using that in my cooking because it comes out crunchier and, and um, crispier when you're cooking. To me, that's the best kind of bacon. So we're gonna take some onion that I have here and we're gonna put it in with the bacon. You want the onion and the bacon to fry up together. Extremely important. Okay. Because you want the onion and the bacon to have the same flavor. Am I frying my bacon and my onions in the, in the bacon grease? Kind of, yeah, because I want it to be that way. When the bacon becomes nice and crunchy, it's a good thing. Plus the bacon um, will give the onion and the, the rice the flavor I want, really and truly. I do have my shrimp and my batter over here. So what I'm going to do is put that over there. My steamers right now are being washed. I recommend washing steamers, leaving them on ice or in cold water until you're ready to use it. Steamers take about five minutes to cook. So I'll be back in a little bit to show you the next two steps. Enjoy. 